It started as a small idea and it's turned into a significant portion of society. The Center for Independent Living in Toronto was established 40 years ago through a long journey of advocacy and showing consumer need. There was an opportunity to experience what I think lots of non-disabled people get to experience. The opportunity and the choice to define my own life by the needs of what I need for my disability. Making people with disabilities stronger and more confident in controlling one's life and claiming one's rights. To be able to experience risk, taking risks, and the dignity of making mistakes. The chance to be able to do all these things interdependent with my family and the community is, is really, really empowering for me. I think it's evolved and I think there's much more room for people to decide for themselves what independent living looks like. I see independent living is that you have a car and independent living is you're a driver in that car. So you have the keys, you are in the driver's seat and you're making the decision of where you want to go, when you want to go, and how fast you want to get there.